What's going on, people? This is Bishop Ridge. Just wanted to sit down and tell you a little bit about myself and about the burden that God has put in my heart in these last days. I'm 25 years old, uh, excited husband, happy husband to a beautiful wife, Miss Sandra Ridge, dad of three kids. Uh, currently serving right now as the youth pastor at Mountain View Church in Dallas, Texas. God has placed a burden on my heart for young people. I'm just looking back at the things that I went through as a young child and I just, you know, at the end of the day, everybody has their own obligation to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But one thing that I can really say, and looking back on it uh, through detail, I don't really remember having anybody presenting the gospel to me in an attractive way as a youth. Um, of course, you know, it's not all about fun and games and, you know, rapping or singing or whatever it is. But I do believe that as young people, we have an opportunity to accept Christ and be extravagant for Him. But if there was somebody to take the gospel and present it to somebody that way, then what an amazing thing that that could be. Uh, that's my heart for this society, for this, this nation that we live in, for this world that we live in, is to take the gospel and spread it by any means necessary. Who speak against that spirit of lust, that abortion spirit? Who wants to go take back a generation with me? Who really wants to go do it? Well, say this with me. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Uh, I've gone through some things in my life. At about the age of about 14 years old, I developed something called Tourette Syndrome. Um, some of you might know what that is. Some of you might not know what that is. Uh, but it's where you have muscle spasms and uh, you start to blurt out things that you can't really control. Uh, I dealt with this for many years of my life, even in different situations to where it was a distraction to my class. So my teachers wound up putting me in some special education classrooms. Um, you're talking about a shot to my self-esteem. I began to become depressed. I gained weight as a little kid. Uh, tried to go out and be very social, but with inside of me, man, I was just going through a lot of things. So through so many years of dealing with these things, man, that so many doors of just sin opened up in me, my depression, uh, from just pornography to drinking to smoking to just different things, lust and just spending times and things that I had no business doing. It's kind of crazy though, because my family, my mom and dad, they raised me in a Christian atmosphere, but I made the decision to stray away. That's the same testimony of so many people in all the churches around America today. Young kids today know about Jesus Christ and they know about different things and they know about church, but they don't have a true relationship with God. My goal, my mission is to make sure that I come to that young child and make sure that I present the gospel in a way to where they say, you know what, this is not a game. I say it all the time. If you're gonna go to hell, go to hell for real. Don't go to hell and you were in church every Friday and Sunday. Don't go to hell and you were sitting in the pews and you were a youth leader, you were a youth pastor. Go to hell as someone who said, you know what? Yeah, I, you know, I was a pimp or I was a drug dealer or I was a prostitute. Why come to church and play the game? The Bible tells us that in Genesis that when he created light and when he created darkness, he created them separately and he separated them and he said, let the light be called day and the dark be called night. And as you continue to read in the Bible, the Bible tells us that we are the light of the world. So with that being said, we shouldn't blend in as Christians. A lot of times we go out to places and we see Christians that are just blending in to wherever they are and not really seeing the fruit. I wanna challenge you guys to just take up this mission with me and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's our commission, that's what we're being commissioned to do, to be different, to be light in the earth. My name's Bishop Ridge and that's my burden. It's just to spread the gospel by any means necessary. God bless you. I just have a few things that I wanna share with you that's really been on my heart. Relationships. Nothing is more important than your relationship with Jesus Christ. It's so funny because people 14, 15, 16 year old talking about, yeah, man, I'm about to get married or she loves me, he loves me. Just because they check yes in the box does not mean that you're gonna get married. Trust me, focus on your relationship with Jesus Christ. It'll take you further along than you ever thought. Your mouth is very powerful. We don't understand the power that we have in our tongue. A lot of times we're going through different situations and we don't know why, but at the end of the day, if we look back and think about what we said, maybe it's because we spoke those things into existence. For instance, like if you go through the drive-through, you go to a window and there's a microphone there. 
you have a desire and you ask for it through that microphone. In that microphone, they take your order. When you get around to the window, what you ask for, what you desired is there in the window. Same thing, God's people. Because we're creating the likeness and image of God, everything that we say is powerful. God spoke this entire universe into existence. So when we think about it, if he spoke this earth into existence, what do you have the power to speak? So when you're at the window of life and you're speaking different things into existence, and then you get around to the window and you get your order, and some of you are saying, man, this is not what I ordered. This is not what I wanted. But you don't recall what you said at the actual microphone. Your mouth is powerful. Think about what you say. It's funny because in today's church, you have a lot of young people that are so focused on themselves and they're just focused on, on me. I got to, it's all about me. What about my personality, my swag? Listen, swag is cool. Everybody has their own swag. I got my own swag. But at the end of the day, I know that holiness is still a factor. I understand how it is to go through things in life and to say, you know what? I've done way too many things for God to want something with me. I've had guns pointed to my head. I've been drunk, not knowing if I'm going to actually make it home. Been through different situations to where I feel like, okay, I've been jumped into this clique, into this gang, and now I wonder if I'm going to ever get out. But God's grace is sufficient. 